Today we're going to be using the grid system where we draw these lines. Now, this is one of my paintings in the background and I'm thinking of colorizing it. So I'm doing a color uh, drawing. Okay, these are the lines. You need the horizontal and the vertical. Uh, I'm spacing them. It's an inch and a quarter. So then when uh, you want more detail, then you could subdivide the space into smaller cubes so that you could get a, as tight a detail as you like. It's not like a portrait. So this is going to be a full body thing. You could get as accurate as you like, but I'm trying to get this done quick. All right, so we'll start with the face. David Bowie, this is a photo I took of David Bowie. Um, one of my customers was his uh, bodyguard. I'm, I have a photography studio most of my life in um, Queens, New York City. All right, so here we have the face of David Bowie, a photo I have that I attached to a canvas where I oil painted over the canvas. So here's the grid on the side. So um, on the sides, we numbered them from zero at the bottom to number nine at the top. And then across the uh, top horizontally, you could see we have A to F. A, B, C, D, E, F are the lines. And I used like a yellow color so it would stand out. You can also use a very thin line so you could see through. So we're looking at the photo of a painting that I did. So now I'm just kind of sketching it in and you want to make sure that you don't really rush this part. So in the beginning is really the most important part to be very accurate. So if you have to erase, just erase it. The beginning is very crucial that you get everything perfect, erase everything, because once you start drawing, then you know, there's no turning back. If you made a mistake what, where the hand should be or something, then you're stuck with it, so hopefully it'll look okay. <laughs> we started with a number two very light pencil. Now we're back to it, and then I go to darker and more uh, softer, darker charcoals and stuff. So you start with a very light pencil. And I'm already starting to take out some of the guide lines. I kind of work thin, so you always see the pencil. So I don't like to go too dark with the first initial pencil. Uh, be, but people that work very thick with their colors, then it doesn't matter. You can even leave the guidelines there the whole time. Okay, so I erased all the guidelines, and now I'm just going to go freeform, look at the original painting. I have it right here on the wall. I look up at the painting, and I'm just going to kind of go with it and uh, get it done. So we got a couple of fish here that all of this stuff... I just did from imagination. These are sort of hypnotic portraits I have where I'm you know, also a painter and a photographer. So I use my photographs that I've taken and I attach them to the canvas so that um, now I have the photo attached to the canvas and then I paint, usually oil paint right on top of the photo and the canvas. Okay, so now we're smearing. I got rid of most of the guidelines and now we're just going in with charcoal, softer pencils, and using the blending tool. It's just like a piece of paper or cardboard rolled up. You buy them in the art supply store. This is the charcoal pencil. Very easy to get started with the charcoal pencil and the blending stick. It gets you moving along nice and quickly instead of rendering and really getting in there with the pencil and having to be so meticulous. So I try to you know, get it moving as fast as possible and well, you hope for the best. <laughs> All right, so here we're blending, 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 going through everything, looking at 
the composition, even though we're not really concerned because we copied everything from the grid. So that's the good. I usually don't use a grid. I just wing it. But just for this uh, demonstration to do this video, I thought it would be a good idea because it's very useful to someone, especially when they're first starting. You could look at, you could do a portrait, you could take a, a, a photograph of someone and grid the photo, then grid your paper, scale it up or scale it down to get the exact size you want, however you want it to fit. And you, so this is scaled down dramatically because the painting is four feet tall. And then this is much smaller. So um, we scaled everything down. And so hopefully it won't take me too long because I'm trying to put these videos out at least every other day. Here we have some fish on the side. We're still racing a lot because at the beginning I don't like to get too dark even though we do have some dark areas already and uh, I'm not using too much of a white yet with these it's just going to be darkening with the pencil and then I use this uh, brush to get rid of when I erase <laughs> All right, now we're back to the number two. Very, you know, get in there and get some detail with the number two pencil. It's very light. It's it's you. It's very permanent, and you could, but you could erase it. You know, you could erase. So I'm just trying to get the proportions. Uh, his hair. I'm going to give him a little bit of a haircut. You know, I kind of like to change things around. I don't want it to be exactly the same. So we can experiment with with moving things around. I have this painting that's done. And now I'm thinking of adding a little bit of color to it. And all my paintings that are mostly black and white. I'm thinking of adding the color. All right, so now we're going to keep looking at the original and trying to be close to it as possible. Now I'm adding a little bit of a brown charcoal and now I'm using the soft pastels they come in you buy them in the art supply store square they're square they're not oil pastels which take more time so now I'm thinking of adding in some colors like mostly green earthy tones browns and, gr and green the water over here up north is very brown so but we'll keep it brown like on the bottom and then we'll go for green and we'll brighten it up with some nice yellow and i'll try to stay away from blue i put a little bit of blue in there that's it i don't think i'm putting any more going to get rid of some of that also so there's a plant at the bottom and there's sort of this hole with some bubbles coming out in the in the sea floor and then sort of another uh the rear of another one of these creatures this is like a half human half animal um, came up with this part of my series of hypnotic portraits hypnagogic the moment before you fall asleep like a drowsy hypnotic state of mind that you might experience just before falling asleep so we have some fish at the bottom. This is a kind of a unhappy looking fish on the right. Now the bubbles, I'm trying to do the bubbles without white. There's a little snail at the bottom and this is sort of where the water carves out the sea floor. You know, we'll go through with a little brown, a little green. Now these are the Prisma colors, just regular colored pencil, back to the oil pastel. Okay, I did put a little bluish green. It's mostly green, but it has slight turquoise color in it now some yellow trying to go around the whole area with the yellow smearing it with your fingers is fine i don't want to show any of course brush strokes you try to 
as you get towards the end, you try to eliminate anything that looks like a brush stroke or pencil marking and make everything look like what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a fish. It's supposed to be on the water. So as you go, you know, I try to eliminate any pencil marks. Hopefully by the end of this, it'll look nice. All right, so the, so the bottom of the body kind of whips around to the back and here we're blending blending with the blending stick and erasing getting rid of all the eraser marks because sometimes if you don't get rid of those the little marks from the eraser the uh, fragments left behind it could give you a hard time putting down the graphite or the pencil in it could stop you so you want to get rid of keep it clean keep everything clean it's a little bit of white. I got a white chalk, but it doesn't do much. All right, so now we're back to like a number two mechanical pencil. There's a few more fish that I didn't add. This fish is looking head on. There's a little charcoal so I could blend it. Maybe I made it a little too dark, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a fish of kind of gray. Anyway, there's another fish going sideways and then I'll kind of blend it in. Here's some more yellow. Give it some color because that's what this whole point is uh, about doing this is for me to figure out if I'm adding color to this painting and what color would it be. The other color paintings I added more uh, uh, sepia but no green and yellow like this one. So here we are uh, copying the painting of David Bowie that I I did many years ago. I met David Bowie. I knew his bodyguard who came into my store for a family portrait. And then here, who, who knew was his bodyguard? So I got to meet David Bowie. And I took this picture of him. I have a whole, you know, uh, roll of pictures I took of David Bowie. I picked this one because I thought it just looked kind of natural, even though there's other ones that have his eyes open that are a little more interesting. He's looking down. It's not that his eyes are closed. But... So I picked this and I kind of came up with this idea of making him into a sea creature, like a serpentine. People call it a merman. I don't know. I don't like merman. I like a sea creature or serpentine bowie. He's almost like an eel or a snake. It's mythological. It's all made up fantasy. This is fantasy art. Surrealist sort of dream-like hypnotic portraits of celebrities mostly. But we are trying to now clean it up. Get it looking right. Is everything okay here? Is there anything missing? Uh, maybe what part of his body should look like a man? What part should look like a fish? So I'm making the top part a little more human looking than the body of the painting that I'm copying. I'm kind of changing it a bit. Why not? You don't have to have it exactly the same. But the point is we started with the grid. Now it's obvious I abandoned the whole grid and I'm just uh, going by eye and seeing how I can make it look a little bit more like a likeness of David Bowie. Sort of very small. I would have to make it bigger to um, do a portrait. Maybe that'll be another show where I do uh, take a photograph and make it into a drawing. So this is all the drawing, the charcoal, and uh, it sort of it comes out uh, okay where you could hang it up, frame it, put it on your wall if you like. So now we're trying to get in there closer and closer with this nice pencil d detail. I cut down some of the size of his head a bit. <clears throat> I thought his hair was a little puffy. I made his nose a little different. I could go in there and fix that. So now I'm just going to sort of try to make everything as detailed as the face. So since I got so close and uh, clear and crisp with the face, 
Now I have to do the rest of the body to match because you can't just work one area of the picture with more detail than the other parts of the picture, unfortunately. So you can't just give all the detail to the hands and not to the rest of the body or it looks unfinished. You know, it makes it look like, okay, you did the hands, but now what about the rest of the body? <laughs> All right, so now we're going to just try to blend in wherever I see a shadow that it looks like a pencil mark. I'm trying to co get rid of all pencil marks and everything that's uneven. Here's a little erasing. There's some kind of pattern like a... It has a little bit of an underwater reflection pattern. And now we have a little bit of a, you know, landscaping look thing. And then there's this other, there's this other fish right here that maybe this could be a partner, you know, maybe this could be an interest. Okay, here's a little snail crawling along the floor of the seabed and there's this anemone, sort of a sea plant that with the fish, this is the fish with the grumpy looking face. And then we have a couple of fish going around. I mean, I could add a little more color into it, but, um, and then erasing a bit to give it a little bit of uh, background, a little squiggly marks in the background. Here's the head on fish, the side, another fish on the side. Okay, so here we are going, cleaning up everything, going, looking around, going around looking at different parts of it and so now going through the whole piece So this is mostly the whole picture and I didn't want it to take too long. It's, you know, I want to try to get these videos out quickly. So here we are jumping around pastel, soft pastels. And now I'm using the uh, number two pencil, mechanical pencil that I have sharpened. And sometimes I sand them. I sand the side of it. So now we can see, here's the on the left with the grid, the grid system with David Bowie. And hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Paul Petronella. Thank you.